Teachers of Reddit, what was the best excuse for being late that turned out to be true? One of my Oregon students told me he was late arriving for his lesson because he got stuck behind a lengthy funeral procession en route to the cemetery. I knew he was telling the truth because I had played the organ for the service earlier that morning and the church was packed. This happened to me as a pupil, a very quiet, unassuming kid in our class came into German with about 5 minutes of the class left. We went to a Catholic school and the teachers were all quite strict and intimidating. Classes were usually silent, especially in junior school. When this boy came into class at the end of the lesson that day, the door flew inwards with such force that the teacher gave an audible gasp. It had been raining heavily outside, his hair was plastered to his forehead. His blazer was dripping and sodden. He had mud caked into his trousers up to his knees, and he was breathing heavily. The teacher exclaimed, Brandon. What happened? We all stared up at him in shocked silence. This quiet, unassuming little boy let out a big sigh and just said, I took a shortcut. And went straight to his seat. That line became iconic in our school for years afterwards. In my hometown if you walked into anywhere late and said the phrase, sorry, grain train you were never challenged. It was extremely common for 50 plus carriage trains to run through the middle of town. Not me but in my class. This was in college, student turned in work late after not showing up for two classes. Two classes amounted to a full week so it was noticeable. Professor looked at him and said, I hope somebody died for you to be this late. Does my dad count? Honestly I've always heard you can hear a pin drop and never really thought anything of it, but yeah you could hear a freaking pin cut through the air after that. Geez, teacher must have been like, aw oh crap. Or like, no it doesn't, f. What f are we talking about here? Fatherless. A kid missed my first period class one morning, but was in school later that day. When I asked him why he hadn't arrived in time for my course, he said his cow was birthing its calf that morning, so he'd picked being in the barn over English. Made sense to me. His essays weren't going to win any ribbons at the county fair, but his calf could. I was late to AP Bio because my goats had kids that morning. I feel like that should have counted for my grade. We had an exam in my class and the teacher got a message from a student saying that he was going to be late because his car had a flat tire, the student was known to party. The teacher didn't think it could be true, so as a joke the teacher asked him to bring the tire back. He brought the flat tire back in the middle of the exam. Needless to say, the professor didn't expect that. UK, a student couldn't submit an assignment on time as the Wi-Fi was down on the Megabus. When I was in college, my psych professor told us that the only excuse for being late was a funeral procession. Any other reason, you wouldn't be allowed to come in. A few weeks into the semester, I was headed from one building to another, which involved crossing the main road. Lo and behold, there was one very long funeral procession going by. I got a short video of it as proof, then stood on the sidewalk to let it go by. Unfortunately, the procession made me five minutes late to class. I knocked on the door, and the professor came over to start to tell me off. I showed her the video. Well I'll be damned, come on in. I apologize that I'm writing this on mobile, so there might be errors. I'm an English professor, and one year a pretty good student showed up without one of his two major term papers. He explained that his safe had been stolen by a contractor who was working on their house. His laptop was in the safe, and that's where his paper was. I genuinely believe him because he'd been a really good student. Then over the next few weeks, he started to show up to class looking very tired. He said that he was on a hunt for the person who stole his safe, and he was spending late nights with his cousin driving around looking for the guy because they knew his van. Now, the student and his cousin were both recently back from tours in Iraq and had seen combat experience. They wanted to find the guy to beat the shit out of him and get the safe back because his wife's wedding ring was in the safe as well as a bunch of cash. He rewrote the paper and turned it in, apologetic that it wasn't up to his usual quality but he still kept coming to class looking like he hadn't slept. After a little while he came very happy to my office hours. And he reported that he found the guy after a long search that involved breaking into a meth den shaking people down with baseball bats and even bribing some prostitutes. He said that they found the guy's van at a Taco Bell after getting a tip from a prostitute, and they cornered him and waited for the police to come. I read in the news that he had in fact done a citizen's arrest and stopped the guy at a Taco Bell and that they ended up calling in the Secret Service because he used the cash that he stole from the safe to buy a bunch of counterfeiting equipment. Secret Service apparently investigates counterfeiting, so the whole investigation happened because this guy who I dub, the white chef tracked the scumbag down through the bad side of town late at night to get a wedding ring, some cash, and his research paper back. It all turned out to be true. He got the ring and the laptop back. I gladly accepted his original paper, and it got a much higher grade than the rewrite. I had a teacher who showed up about halfway through the class. Apparently her car had slid, in dense snowstorm the night before, and she had walked the last mile or so. MTV paid me $50 to fill my backpack with cement and carry it around for the day. I accepted that excuse. 
student later regretted it, as a replacement backpack and college textbooks far exceeded $50. But he got his moment of fame and I didn't penalize him for his tardy. Gotta live a little. Edit, someone found a newspaper article on this. Turns out it was $200. He earned $100 for the first day and $100 when he returned the next day. I remembered $50, but it was 19 years ago. So ha, huh, I was right to believe him. He still lost all his stuff, thanks Samand, and I remember him telling me it wasn't worth it. I had a 6 year old turn up late to her lesson and blurt out, sorry I was late, I had to color in a bunny. Seems fair. She had to take her sister to school and drive her mom to rehab. She was always late to class because her mom just wanted to sleep in. Problem was if the mom was late or did not go she would have violated her probation and gone to prison. I never marked her late. If she missed anything important she could come in at lunch or after school to make it up. My best friend and I used to roller skate to school and one day we both forgot to put our shoes in our backpacks. So we skated to the vice principal's office and got to skip first period to go home for shoes. We stopped at Taco Bell on the way back for breakfast, because we figured we were already excused. I was one of about 20 kids who were late to school. We showed up at the school office as a group and when questioned why we were late, we said, the school bus blew up. They question, so the engine blew up. The kids, no, the whole bus, in flames, it blew up. There was much conference between the teachers, all of them thinking we embellished the story. Next thing you know, one of the admin staff has the news website open, very obvious image of an entire bus on fire with a bunch of kids in our school uniform standing in front of it. Our late slip for class read school bus blew up. I was the student, my neighbor had a really social goat, and she figured out how to escape her pen in order to come over and hang out. She escaped and followed me to the bus stop, and when the bus came, she tried to follow me onto it. I couldn't actually get on the bus without her being right behind me, so I had to get off, bring her home, and call my dad to bring me to school. Not a teacher but a friend said his house blew away. Apparently. Tornado. After 9-11, my small town high school received bomb threats every week for two months, and they decided to make us attend school on a Saturday. Myself and about five others showed up for our classes, and every teacher said something like, I can't wait for the excuses on Monday. Most of the excuses were something along the lines of family plans or whatnot. But one kid was made read his dad's note aloud to the class because our first period teacher thought it was hilarious. In the most down south accent you can imagine, it went something like, My son ain't too smart, but he knows you ain't supposed to get punished for someone else being a dumbass. Bought him a six pack, so he was drunk. Y'all can FCK off. I wish we had smartphones to record back then so I could share it. Literally today, child missed my first hour class, notes said car accident on the way to school and would be coming late. Kid comes for second hour, has pictures on his phone of the rollover accident. WTF, kid, go home. Rest. Take care of yourself. Edit, I have another one. Although this one happened to a classmate when we were in college training to be teachers. She missed a really important class. Came for just the last 10 minutes or so because her neighbor knocked on her door while in active labor asking for help a little while before she was supposed to leave for class. Classmate walked back to neighbor's house with prego neighbor and delivered her baby in the living room while on the phone to 911. Paramedics came and mom and baby were fine, but classmate needed to go home and shower change first because she was covered in blood. Not a student, but one of my teaching assistants when I ran a preschool in West Philly. Sorry I missed yesterday, my friend shot my mom. Naturally, I'm a little speechless. Oh no it's okay, he was aiming for someone else. My car got hit by lightning. It did, in the school parking lot. Her tires were melted to the pavement. She had to go out and deal with the tow truck call her parents etc. It was pretty dramatic. I was the student. When I was in college I opened my front door to CSWAT teams and DEA agents outside of my house. The one who looked at me was holding some kind of R. I went back inside. From what I heard, there was a multiple sting operation that happened around my town and my neighbor's place got raided. I missed half of my classes that day. A guy in my college class missed class one day. The next day he came in with his eye covered up and medical paperwork in hand. Apparently he got pecked in the eye by a chicken. Not me, but one of my good friends. She went to the Royal Military College of Canada, where they wear their uniforms and there are often tourists visiting the campus. Apparently, it was completely normal to be waylaid by tourists looking to have their photos taken with students in uniform that all they had to say when they walked in late was tourists. And the professors would let it slide. She always wondered how many family photos she was actually in over her time spent there. Me. My bus hit a bird and the whole windshield was cracked. We had to wait for another bus to pick us up. Story time. I was the only high schooler on our school bus one winter. The other detail important to this story is that we had the oldest model bus that wasn't in the best mechanical shape. 
it had one of those mechanically operated doors, it would shoot out a plume of black smoke every time it started, and just looked much less fancy than all the other buses the school had. Anyway, one winter it was so cold that the diesel engine stopped working. The bus driver said the cold made the diesel in the fuel lines gel up. I have no idea if that's accurate, but either way the bus wouldn't start. Fortunately we were only 5 miles from the school and all the kids had been picked up already. So they just radioed another, newer, bus to loop back around and pick us up. The bus driver had radioed the elementary school but completely forgot to let the high school know. So I show up to class and the teacher asks why I was late. I said, the cold caused the fuel lines to gel up in the school bus repeating exactly what the bus driver told us. But I was the only high schooler on that bus so no other students were there to back up my story. The teacher didn't believe me, and instead of just calling the main office to verify my story she mocked me in front of the whole class saying, it's not possible for fuel to freeze in the cold. And everyone in the class agreed with her saying that I was a bad liar and laughed at how dumb my story was. Ultimately the office did let her know about the bus after she tried giving me a detention, but the embarrassment is still there and she never gave me an apology. When I was student teaching, I was late because there was bunch chickens in the middle of the road. They wouldn't move at all. This is in the middle of a city of 200,000 people. Freaking chickens. I finally get to school and profusely apologize to my mentor or teacher and I told her why I was late thinking it sounded ridiculous. She said, yeah, those chickens are freaking assholes, they surrounded my car in the McDonald's parking lot last year. Don't worry about it. They were protesting the MC chicken sandwich. I'm Pink. A fair-skinned student, age 10, went with a friend to the holy festival at a nearby Hindu temple where she was covered with red powder and dyed bright red from head to toe. Her mother, another teacher at the school, had made her sit for hours in the bathtub to soak it off, but even after another round of early morning shower scrubbing, she arrived at school a pleasant shade of pink. Technically, she wasn't late, but she stayed in her mother's classroom until the bell rang, 